In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to play Capcan coming into year seven, season three, Brutal Swarm. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna go over Capcan's loadout. You can skip to this timestamp right here if you wanna see me explain Capcan tips and tricks. With it out of the way though, he has the 9x91 VSN, which is the SMG that also comes on Tachanka and Azami. Uh, very good overall, not a lot of damage, but absolutely zero recoil with 30 bullets, pretty good. It also comes with the 1.5, so you can get a long range on this thing. Like I said, again, very low recoil, so I run the vertical grip and the silencer on it and it works just fine. And then he has the SASG-12, which people just call the sausage. On this gun, I run suppressor, vertical grip, and any 1x sight that I want. It does do 50 damage, and it has 10 bullets. Not being a pump-action shotgun, however, it actually is a very versatile shotgun that can be used, especially at close quarters, so I definitely recommend picking the shotgun up. Although I will say the submachine gun is more versatile and easier to use in most situations. Then you have the pistols. You have the PMM, which does 61 damage with 8 bullets, or the GSH, which comes with 44 damage and 18 bullets. So, what I would recommend personally is if you're running the shotgun, run the GSH. If you're running the 9x91, I'd run the PMM. Here's why. If you have a shotgun, you want the most amount of ammo as possible on your secondary, which is why having 18 bullets is always going to be better than having 8 bullets. So I would always run the GSH over the sausage. Now, if you have the 9x91, you already have a lot of ammo, and this thing just brings the extra firepower that you might need to have on a secondary gun with 61 damage. That being a two-tap to any three-speed attackers. So uh, that's why I recommend the PMM if you have the 9x91. Andy also has impacts or a nitro cell. Uh, always run a nitro cell. It's entry denial. You can pair it up with information and get a lot of free kills with it so the primary loadout that i would assume is the 9x91 vsn the pmm and the nitro cell and then of course you have his actual ability the entry denial device uh, it's an explosive that you screw onto doorways that will explode if anybody walks into them i'm gonna bring you in a custom game and explain how that works and give you some advanced tips and tricks there all right so i brought you onto border border is probably capcan's best map as there's a lot of archways and stuff to hide his capcan traps on um for instance you can actually put a capcan trap on this archway and the archway right here which attackers are not going to be looking at the bottom of this archway at all um much less especially because there's a fountain double blow that they have to worry about a swing from they also have to worry about the swing from here especially with the shield they have to worry about the swing from cc um like overall they're just going to be worrying about a lot more things and a cap can trap on any of these archways and there are archways like this all across the map like the one over there the one over like down here um so you know there's just a lot of places that you can put these especially the little hidden spot right here that varsity gaming discovered where you can actually put the capkin traps inside of the couch if you have the elite skin for capkin so look it's covered by the wood of the couch because <laughs> it's the elite skin um i don't know if it works on this side no it doesn't work on that side but it only works on this side um yeah you just you put a capkin you can put multiple in here too and it worked really well. Um, I get a lot of free kills by doing this. I literally just put like three of them right here. So I can get it right here. And then when attackers walk into this, they're not gonna see that. They're not gonna see that at all. It only works if you have the elite skin, by the way. Um, but that's just an extra way to get free kills right there. Anyways, like I said, archway, boom, right here. Doorway, doorway, window, archway, 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 archway. Doorway in between archways, doorway. Like, there's really good spots to put cap cans on this map, and that's why I'm bringing you on this map. Look, archway, archway. <laughs> um, but, that being said, where should you be putting his cap can traps? So, the cool thing about cap can's gadget is that it's really, really tiny, right? So, you can put it on doorways that people wouldn't expect, but you need to learn on which side of the doorway to put it on, right? Do you put it on the front side or the back side, and then do you put it on the left side or the right side, and then do you put it super high or do you put it super low? Because you can put these cap can traps, like, all the way up here right or you can put them all the way down here so where should you be putting them right so first of all in terms of where you put them height ways on the door putting them really really low is always the best option right because if you put one super high like this all attackers have to do is they just crouch through it and then the laser doesn't get interrupted and they don't get exploded right because how these things work is there's these lasers that come out of them right from this little yellow dot right here and if any part of you passes through that little laser or the little yellow dot right there um, then it will explode but if you can crouch under it like i'm doing right here see how i'm under the little dot it won't explode um so that's just how that works that's why you want to put them lower but also attackers knowing this will expect the capkin traps to be super low so you can get away with some capkin traps like this where they're actually super high and when they go down to look for the capkin trap they're not going to see it because it's up here, and then they run into it anyways. Um, that's a pretty advanced thing. I would say, like, golden below, don't do that. Um, but platinum above, you might be able to get away with one, especially, like, if you put one at the very bottom of the door, 
and then you have another one right here right so they shoot this they think they're safe and then they walk into another one um, pretty cool tip there but always try to put them as low as you can especially because if you put them super low you can actually stack more on top of the other one like this right and you can just keep stacking them um, and you'll be able to get some free kills. So cap can traps do about like 50 damage per, but now you're able to stack multiple cap can traps in the same door. So you'd go like 50, 100 damage right here. That's enough to kill a three speed, right? And then you have 150 damage. That's enough to kill a three armor, right? So you can actually get really free kills if you put multiple on the same doorway. Um, that being said, the more you put on one doorway, if attackers are able to notice it, and they just shoot your cap can traps, then you've wasted three cap can traps. Now, if you were to put one on every single different doorway, you'd have five spread out cap can traps. And if they go here and they shoot one, you still have four hidden cap can traps around the map that can do damage. Are they going to instill kill players? No, um, but they're still going to do a fair amount of damage. And if the player is low health, then it actually will kill them still. So uh, very cool there. You just, you know, either spread out your cap can traps or put them together. Either or has their own separate set of consequences. Now, as Capcan, you can put Capcan traps on really common doors, like doors that are in sight, because when people are coming into the site as attackers, the last thing they're worrying about is a Capcan trap, right? So you can put one on the window like this, and then if you're an attacker and you're coming into here, you're not worried about a Capcan trap on the side of the window, right? You're worrying about a guy right here, you're worrying about a guy in the rotate, a guy in Africa, a guy holding you from sandwich, a guy inside a small office, a guy, you know, right here, a guy all the way down there so like the last thing you're worrying about is exposing yourself to all of these angles just to turn to the left and maybe see a cap can trap so what i like to do is i'll just put two of them on here right i got one two and that's a free kill in a three speed right and the reason that's so good is because three speeds will run up metal stairs and they'll just run up here and try to hop in here and kill anybody and then these two cap can traps will stop them so that's something that i like to do on this site specifically is put two cap can traps right there but just think about cap can traps like that Think about common attacker pushes, right? Okay, commonly they push up metal stairs, okay? Commonly they'll push through this door or they'll push through this door and I'll put cap can traps according to that, right? So, okay, they push through this door, maybe put a cap can trap here, right? Wrong. A lot of players will throw grenades through here or throw an ash charge through here to get the bandits off of the wall. So this cap can trap will just end up getting destroyed. Okay, don't put one there. For this doorway, could you put one here? For this doorway, could you put one here? No, because people can shoot it from the window. Could you put one on this doorway? Absolutely, because if you actually break this door right here, you're not going to be able to stand on the left side of the door and shoot it like this without being exposed to the wall. People up here, um, or just, you know, head holes here, a mirror here, whatever. So, also, they can't get on this window and shoot it, right? It's unable to be seen. So, yeah, you can absolutely put one right here. Uh, I wouldn't waste too many on it, though, because a lot of people will throw EMP grenades here, Thatcher devices here, grenades in here to actually go into plant. So, that might actually get destroyed. So, what I would do is I'd put one, you know, uh, two on the window. I'd put one on this door right here. Um, you can put one... Like right here. So when attackers are walking in from east to be able to take office, you know, they're having to expose themselves from this wall, from this wall, from this wall, from these two walls, from people swinging that corner, from people swinging this door, from people swinging this door, like we talked about earlier. Last thing they're worrying about is a Capcan trap right there. Um, also, it's really unexpected because it's not actually a doorway. It's just, you know, a little archway. So uh, that's a pretty good Capcan trap. I suppose if you know they're not going to push east and they're going to push CC, you could put one on this side of the doorway, right? So when they swing the CC door right here, they come in, right? And they're not looking down there at all. So that's a pretty good Capcan trap there. But, you know, just stuff like that spread it around especially you don't want a bunch of cap can traps in the same place so what i don't want to do if i'm playing upstairs is to have all of my cap can traps on the west side of the map downstairs right you know i put a bunch here on this doorway i put some on that doorway i put some on this doorway this doorway this doorway that window um, if you're spreading them out like that it doesn't make sense to do that right because when you spread cap can traps out you get a lot of information with those cap can traps either being shot or going off and you don't want five cap can traps in the same spot because it's giving information to where the attackers are in the same spot right so if i'm sitting in sight and i hear five cap can traps getting destroyed from this area i know someone's there but if i also hear one cap can getting destroyed in the area I still know that there's somebody there, right? So instead of wasting four cap can traps, I can spread those four around the map and get information on all sides of the map than just staying here and getting information on one side of the map, right? So if you're using your cap cans for information and not really getting kills, um, then spread them around. Don't put them all on the same map, but maybe put one there, maybe put one in CC, maybe put one in the hallway, maybe put one in east, uh, maybe put one in CC, 
right? Like there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. You spread them around for information, or you can do what we said earlier, where you put multiple on one surface, and then you know all the other ones on another surface right there, and then you get free kills with it, right? So there's two ways of playing cap cam, um, and those are the two ways. I will say there are better information operators like Valkyrie or Legion that do cap cans information job, but better. So personally, what I like to do with cap can is I like to use them for kills. So what I would do, my default setup for this site with cap can is putting three inside the bench here, and then putting two inside of the window here. This can vary, especially if you know no one's going to come up metal because they did it last time, um, or they didn't do it last time, and you hear them coming like east side. You can actually just move those two cap can traps into the hallway over here, um, or onto the east hallway door over here, right? Because if you put one here and they're on the balcony, they can't really go to the right. They're also worrying about people being on the east stairs or in the east hallway or on this wall, right? So you can put one on the doorway there. A bunch of stuff. Essentially, what I'm trying to tell you is you can stack your cap can traps or you can spread them out for information. I prefer stacking, in my opinion, though. Now, for the last thing about cap can, I'm going to be teaching you uh, which side of the doorway should you be putting them on, right? So you can put it on this side or you can put it on this side. And now, it all depends relative to where the attackers are looking, right? So if you're putting a cap can trap inside of CC to catch anybody that's walking into this door lacking, right? So let's say I want to put a cap can trap on this archway to catch anybody going from CC into the break room like this. I wouldn't want to put it here, right? Because if I put it here and they get on this doorway, they'd be able to easily see it and shoot it. But if I put it on the left side right here and they're on this doorway, they can't see it, right? Unless they know it's there, they're not going to see it until it's too late. Um, so just be thinking about where the attacker's perspective is when they're pushing into your cap can traps so that you don't have them just able to shoot your cap can traps. Something that I don't recommend you ever doing is putting one on one side and one on the other side because that invites attackers to be able to shoot one always because of how perspective works in the game like I just taught you. And if they see one, they're going to check the other side for another uh, the majority of the time. So I would always just stick to one side that you know they're not going to be able to shoot. You know, you put one here, you put two here, you walk in, boom, they're dead. So that's essentially, you know, the, the five rules need to be using as cap can is putting it on the doorways where they're not going to be looking, stacking them for kills, or using them for information, not putting them in the same exact area, and making sure that they can't see it from their perspective. So that's pretty much it for the entire video. I'm not going to bring you into a VOD review section because it would just be me placing cap can traps. It doesn't really make sense for me to do that. Like the video if you liked it, sub to the channel. I am a small creator, so it helps me out a lot as I am almost monetized. My name's Alka, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.